Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I think we really are living in um, very exciting times at the moment in terms of data. I mean, we just have to look over the last year in terms of the sorts of things that have been going on. We've just uh, detected gravitational waves from two black holes colliding and, uh, over a billion years ago. Uh, the world's best Go player has just been beaten by an algorithm. And in the last couple of days, our hackathon teams have been able to predict tweets. Um, so what I'd like to do is actually just pick up a little bit on um, following on from Jason's points around sort of decision making. Uh, and really, I think all data is really, is really to inform some sort of decision making. So with so many different forms of data out there and available, I think there's an increasing urge just to sort of collect anything and everything out there that's, that's moving. And sort of forgetting actually sometimes what it is that you're trying to achieve with the data in the first place. So from a marketing communications perspective, you know, uh, the, the sort of the data that needs to be used is to help support the, these sort of three processes. The marketing communication is all about putting a plan together, figuring out how you execute that plan, and then, of course, me measuring the impact of that plan. So, for, for example, you know, figuring out what audience and message you need to kind of put together for your new product launch, uh, then figuring out how you want to reach and engage with that audience, and then, of course, in in figuring out how you measure the impact of your investment. And in this context, data needs to be shaped and tuned towards any of the decisions that need to be made in, in, in one or more of these processes. I mean, one of the things that um, I think that comes to light when you think about data in this way is that actually um, decisions actually take shape at, or need to be done at, at, at different pace, or decision, decisions take place at different paces. So uh, and with that in mind, data really needs to come online or needs to flow and inform those decisions at, 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 at a different pace as well. So this is less about sort of collecting um, anything that moves, uh, any data that's out there, but actually figuring out and, and collecting just the right type of data that informs the right type of decision. So, you know, new forms of data and platforms, of course, challenging the, the, the previous process of strategy, execution, and, uh, and, and measurement. So new forms of data are speeding up that process faster and faster, which, of course, is creating all forms of uh, new business innovations and, and opportunities. And, of course, there's lots of excitement in the business uh, about new forms of data informing real-time uh, uh, signals and decisions such as, you know, what price to put on, a, on a, an impression in an, in an auction or, um, you know, real-time signals that might trigger some sort of personalization that needs to be done. And of course, in an increasingly uh, mobile multi-device world, there are all sorts of new ways that consumers are sort of browsing and buying. So, however, many consumer habits are still the same as before. So, you know, and they're still going to be with us for some time yet. So the, so the annual contract renewal for your mobile phone, the weekly grocery shop, and, you know, the daily commute. Uh, so the old world of, um, of non-real-time decision-making is still very much with us. So thinking about how some of the real-time platforms that are available now can inform uh, slower moving decision making processes are equally valuable as some of the real time stuff that's going on as well. So we now see some businesses actually, um, uh, you know, um, throwing away much of the data they're collecting and just keeping the stuff that, that, that they need to inform their business decisions. I think the, the second thing I wanted to sort of touch on was really around um, uh, connectivity. I think, you know, collecting a lot of data and putting it in a big box and mining it could, of course, produce a lot of valuable um, value for the organization. But what we're seeing increasingly now is um, you know, connecting up and joining unconnected, previously unconnected data sets is providing you know, the real value. And in some respects, it sometimes seems as though we've gone backwards a little bit. If you actually think about um, you know, 20 years ago, we had just a single TV set and a radio, and we seemingly could have, get robust results just from sort of a couple of panels, and that gave us all the insight we needed. I mean, I think now, I think Gartner quoted something like six billion co connected devices around in the world right now, and I think our industry is somewhat trying to figure out how we sort of, you know, recreate or re get back to sort of the robust measurements that we had sort of 20 years ago by, by trying to figure out how we connect across and measure the impact across all these different platforms. Platforms and, and, and devices, and some of you may have heard the sort of the Comscore and Cantar presentation a few days ago on their perspectives on how to do that. But there are, of course, with all these new connections and platforms, some um, uh, really exciting data connections that are being made. You know, for example, in recent recent times, 
um, you know, active strategic, activating strategic consumer segmentations with programmatic media are some of the things that are going on now. So the sorts of things like Happy Harry's, Sad Sally's, Miserable Mike's, activating these types of segmentations is now really becoming available. So you know, in the old days, you, could, you, you had these segmentations. They were very useful. But you, in order to activate them, you had to use demographic proxies to do that. Today, you don't have to do that. And that's really joining up planning and execution and, and, and many new ways. Um, making decisions um, you know, much more effective and much more efficient. And that's bringing market researchers together and programmatic together in ways that have never been done before. Finally, what I'll just sort of touch on is just, um, just, just in terms of some thoughts and my own experience of sort of activating data on the day-to-day. -day, sort of, and I think, you know, we recognize that trying to find data is not an easy task. You know, trying to find all those data sources within your organization is, is difficult, let alone even starting to figure out what else is out there in the ecosystem outside of your organization. You know, when you're activating data, um, the, um, you know, once you've found your data source, you know, the ownership and privacy uh, topics are probably not too far away as well. So trying to uh, you know, understand um, um, you know, who, who's going to benefit from this and, uh, and who owns this are topics that need to be sorted together. And um, you know, once you've figured out that, you need to figure out some sort of valuation. So um, you know, that's not a trivial task too, especially if uh, you know, the types of uh, the way that you can value data is of course endless, but if you're new to this game and never done this before, it's, it's not often easy to navigate. And both parties need to get a sort of data, data exchange of some sort. Finally, you've found your data, um, you know, you've figured out uh, that you can use it, um, and you've, you've figured out the, the value exchange that you can actually obtain it. You've then, you've only really just onboarded your data. You haven't actually done anything with it yet. And I think the hard work then begins in actually trying to um, connect all that data up and get it into your processes. So just to recap quickly, data flow must align with your decision-making flows, connections, you must connect new data to create new, new data. And of course, you need passion, patience, persistence to kind of bring it all together, really. Thank you. Thank you, Paul.